There he is. You see him? Right there. How to see a story stone. How to read it. There he is right there. He's kneeling down. His back foot, his knee, bent over. He's got this headdress on. His arm seems to be looks like he's stabbing this person that's laying down. It also looks like this is he's pouring something into this guy's mouth like water, liquid. It's coming out of here, into here, into the mouth. He is there though. Looks like a hand. This isn't just a stone, it's an axe also. It's a very large axe. Would have been hafted right here. Carried by a giant. That's exactly what it was. <clears throat> a giant's axe with a story in it and it's falling apart. <clears throat> Part of its story. There's another one right there. Very large axe. There's another one. There's a smaller one. The axe head right there. Full of rusty quartz. It also has imagery in it. They always seem to have the top knot. This one has the top knot. Very big. This is one of the heaviest ones I have. Very big stone. <clears throat> this one also has a lot of imagery in it. It's got the red the old Indian's face with the red hair and the serpent sort of biting on his head. And there's one more. This is made out of blue quartz with some metallic stone around it. The face of the giant right there. Giant axis. There are strange things we've never, ever heard about. Giants aren't jolly and they're not green, but they make things like this. They use things like this and they put stories in them. And they show us who they are. It could be an old woman or an old man. I don't know, but there's a story there. 
Jimmy here in Strange Vermont with these strange crystals that will change your life by changing your perspective. Who are these strange ancient serpent people? Blessings from Strange Vermont.